and welcome back to Greater Ohio's blog. Today we wanted to talk about the election and polling, kind of who voted why, um, what campaign tactics worked, what didn't, where were the demographic shifts with the voting. Um, we'll talk about that tomorrow too, so it's kind of a two-parter. So anyway, Gene, what, what do you get out of the election or what have you been hearing with that? Well, there are several, several surprising things. First of all, and I'll steal this phrase from a writer for the uh, Cleveland Plain Dealer, the conventional wisdom was all wrong. Okay. Turnout was not that exceptionally high. Actually, more people came out and voted in 2004 than voted in this one. Really? Nationally or just in Ohio? Right in Ohio. You okay. Go ahead and go to the Secretary of State's website. That's really interesting. Yeah. Uh, was all, everybody talked about, oh, the youth, there's going to be this tsunami of youth coming out. No, uh, no, not really. Huh. Okay. Um, you know, everything was supposed to be, was supposed to be radically different. Mm, there, were some, there, were, there were some differences. Um, one of the one of the key things you know, I asked the question at Impact Ohio uh, about what was the demographic economic group that changed? Was there any group that changed, or how they've been voting in the past 20, 25 years, and did they shift? Catholics. Catholics used to vote almost exclusively Democrat. Okay. Then starting in the late sixties, not through the seventies, but then really starting then nineteen eighty. They really shifted and started voting more Republican. Okay. This year, they shifted back. That's interesting. Yeah, and so you know, if anybody out there has any ideas as to why, why they shifted, that could be very helpful. Yeah, definitely. The other thing that we found, though, and this probably goes back to uh, with our issues, nine percent of urban white voters that voted for uh, Bush last time. Voted for Obama. Okay, and, and that's in Ohio. No, that's nationally. Nationally, okay. So the question is, is why? Yeah. I mean, the, you know, there was there was a there was a, in a state like Ohio, that's a pretty significant shift. Yeah, that really is. Because in Ohio, this is an incredibly purple state. I mean, you know, the margin here was really quite small. Yeah. yeah. And. Uh, and I know as, as people from around the country may watch this video blog, you know, I'll just say, say to them, unless, you know, for those of you who live in Virginia or Missouri, you, you know, people in Virginia or, so, or Indiana, suddenly their vote matters. Yeah. Okay? And for those who have lived in Massachusetts or Utah, sorry, your vote doesn't really seem to matter as much according to the pollsters and the media. But here, Ohio truly is the heart of it all. Yeah. Politically, and just inundated with advertising on this stuff. Yeah, that's really interesting. Well, for more about Impact Ohio, which um, was a meeting held on Thursday, November 6th, check out our Monday's blog, and we'll also have a website up on that that talks about the impacts of the election and how that will look at Ohio and restoring prosperity is one of the issues we're working on with that and how it impacts us as well. Um, so, thank you.